In today's video, I'm going to tell you the 10 best-selling men's cowboy boot brands on eBay and Poshmark. And with my approach for gathering data, I try to come up with a method that would tell you guys not only what is selling for a high dollar amount, but also what sells quickly, and also you are actually likely to find these brands. Sometimes I watch Bolo videos or brands videos and the brands are so obscure <laughs> that I'm probably not even going to remember the brand by the time I find it. But these brands are somewhat common and they all have an average sale price of at least $50. So how did I come up with the 10 brands for the list? I went through four different categories and pulled 250 listings from each of those categories. So the first is Poshmark 50 to $100. So I went to Poshmark, I filtered for 50 to $100, I filtered for sold listings, I sorted by just in, so I would get items that had just recently been listed and had sold for 50 to $100. And then I manually counted up the brands of the first 250 listings. Then I did the same thing. I changed the filter to 100 to $250. And I again went through, sorted it by just in, and counted up the most recent 250 sold listings. In this case, I did exclude those that were a $100 sale because they were already included in the 50 to $100 category. Then I went to eBay and I did the same thing. I filtered for 50 to $100 sold listings. I sorted by the most recently listed and I counted up 250 sold listings, and then I did the same thing for 101 to $250. That left me with four lists of top 10 brands for each of those four categories. Then I took all of the data, so all 1,000 brands that I had pulled from those 1,000 listings, and I tallied those up to get to my true top 10 brands that I'm going to make sure to cover in this video. So first, I'm going to start with what I call the five honorable mention brands. These are brands that ended up on one of the list, but did not end up in the top 10. So first honorable mention brand is Durango. It was number six on the Poshmark 50 to $100 list and number eight on the eBay 50 to $100 list. So based on that data, it seems like maybe Durango does sell well, but it never ended up on any of the $101 to $250 list. So probably not going to sell at the highest dollar amounts. Next is the brand Double H. Again, this one showed up on both of the $50 to $100 list. It was number seven on the Poshmark list and number 10 on the eBay $50 to $100 list. The number three honorable mention was Laredo and it came out number eight on the Poshmark $50 to $100 list but did not make the other three lists. Number four honorable mention brand is Anderson Bean. It came out number eight on the Poshmark $101 to $250 list but did not make any of the other three lists. And the fifth honorable mention brand is Old Gringo. It came out number nine on the Poshmark 101 to $250 list. And this is a brand I'm always on the keeping my eye out for because I know it sells well, but I've never found it. One more note is I was filtering for cowboy boots specifically. So I'm not that familiar with Old Gringo, but the, the listings I've seen have been for women's boots. So um, it is possible that would have come up higher if I was looking specifically for women's, but I was looking for men's cowboy boots. And now we can get into the top 10 overall men's cowboy boot brands. First up, we have number 10 is Larry Mahan. This accounted for 20 of the 1,000 listings that I looked at. So 2% of the overall listings were Larry Mahan. It actually only made one of the four split outs and that was, it was number seven on the eBay 101 to $250 list. And although it didn't come up in the top 10 on the other three, it was near, so it was like number 11, 12, or 13 on the other three, which resulted in it being the number 10 overall. Larry Mahan has an average sale price of $89. To come up with this average sale price, I actually pulled the average sale price from four different sources and then averaged those four sources. So I used the Poshmark suggested price tool. I used a add-in feature for eBay called, I think it's called Snap to get another number. Then I used Sellhound for eBay and Sellhound for Poshmark. Took those four numbers, averaged them, and that's how I came up with these average sale prices I'm gonna tell you. So Larry Mahan, average sale price, $89. The sell-through rate is 66%. Sell-through rate is defined as how many listings have sold in the last 90 days divided by how many are currently listed. 
So this means there are on average 66 sold listings in the last 90 days and 100 currently listed from this brand. So this brand, Larry Mahan, was purchased by Tony Lama in 1987 and it is no longer sold. So the only place people can buy Larry Mahan is on the pre-owned market because it is not currently sold new. I was familiar with this brand because I've heard Greg from Rocky Mountain Resale talk about this brand. I know he loves selling Larry Mahan. I will link his channel below. He has at least one video specifically about cowboy boots. So after you watch this, if you want to learn more about selling cowboy boots, you can check out Greg's channel. Let's move on to number nine. Number nine is Nakona. Nakona also counted for 2% or 24 of the 1,000 listings that I pulled. And it came out on three of the four lists. So it came out number 10 on the Poshmark $50 to $100 list, number five on the eBay $50 to $100 list, and number nine on the eBay $101 to $250 list. Nakona boots retail for about $150 to $250. The average sale price is $67, and the sell-through rate is actually the lowest of any of the 10 brands on the list at 52%. So I would say if you find Nakona, you're gonna have to be picky, and I would double check the style against sold listings. And I would say that's true of most of the brands on the list. There's two that are so good, I would probably pick them up no matter the style, <laughs> but with the other eight, you're gonna wanna check the style against sold listings. Make sure that that style sells well, and again, condition matters too. I've seen boots so many times that are absolutely destroyed. Holes in the bottom of the boots or there's holes inside the sole. And obviously if it's in really bad condition, these numbers aren't going to apply. And if it's in brand new condition, these numbers are gonna be on the low end. So again, condition matters, style matters, but these are still brands that if you see them, check the comps, they might be worth picking up. So Nakona, $67 average sale price and the worst sell through rate at 52%. And Nakona is a division of Justin Boots. So that's something else I found interesting as a lot of the brands on this top 10 list are related to each other. So number 10, Larry Mahan was purchased by Tony Lama. Number nine, Nakona is a division of Justin Boots. And those two brands will come up later in the list. Number eight is Red Wing. Red Wing accounted for 25 of the 1,000 listings or about 3%. I would guess that Red Wing would be higher up if I was doing a work boots video because that is what they're more known for. But for the cowboy boots video, they still came out in the top 10 at number eight. They were number 10 on the Poshmark 101 to $250 list, number seven on the eBay 50 to $100 list, and number eight on the eBay 101 to $250 list. Average sale price for Red Wing cowboy boots is $85. And the sell through rate is over 100% at 132%. So on my list of top 10 cowboy boot brands, there are two that I would say aren't really the stereotypical cowboy boots. You know, the ones people are gonna wear out working in the barn or working on the farm. And those two brands are Red Wing, which I already talked about. And the other is the next brand on the list and that brand is Fry. So number seven, Fry accounted for 26 of the 1000 sold listings or 3%. The average sale price for Fry Cowboy Boots is $82, and the sell-through rate is again very low compared to the other brands on the list at 55%. It came out number seven on the Poshmark 101 to $250 list, number nine on the eBay 50 to $100 list, and number 10 on the eBay 101 to $250 list. As I caveated with Nakona, when you have a brand that has that 50, with these two brands, I have the 52 and the 55% sell through. I would check the, um, make sure to check the style because the lower sell through rate often indicates that certain styles maybe don't sell as well. And that has been my experience with Fry. Some of the styles sell really quickly and others will be sitting for a bit. I will say though, the cowboy boots have sold quickly for me. Um, I have a pair of loafers though that has been sitting for at least a year. The next brand on the list is arguably the best brand on the list. Now it did not come out in the top five because it wasn't frequent enough in the 1000, but you're gonna see from the stats why I think you could argue that this is the best brand and the one you really need to be looking for. Number six is Tecovis. And it accounted for 63 of the 1,000 listings or 6% of the overall listings. It came out number nine on the Poshmark 50 to $100 list, number two on the Poshmark 101 to $250 list, 
and number six on the eBay 101 to $250 list. The average sale price is $162 for Tecovis cowboy boots and the sell-through rate is 314%, which is the highest sell-through rate of any brand on this list. These boots are handmade in Mexico and I picked up a Tecovis belt once from the Denver Goodwill outlet, so I paid like 25 cents for it. And I got so much attention on that belt immediately as soon as I listed it on eBay from international buyers. So my tip would be if you find Tecovis boots, definitely list them on eBay, definitely have global shipping program on, if not international sales on, because my one experience with that Tecovis belt was that I had people sending me offers from all over the world and it ultimately sold to someone in Portugal. So anyways, if you see Tecovis boots, I would pick them up if they're a good price and you probably have a decent amount of money on your hands. Again, they are all handmade. For each of these brands, I tried to determine if they're handmade, but it was a little bit confusing because some of the brands, they had certain styles that are handmade or certain parts of the boots that are handmade, but not the full thing. But I'm pretty sure all of Teco Tecovis boots are handmade, which is probably why they sell, th sell th so well and have such a high sell through rate. So Tecovis, don't leave it behind. Like I said, I found a belt and it still sold so really well. So anything you find by them is probably worth looking into and probably worth picking up. Quick interruption and then I'll get to the top five men's cowboy boot brands. This is the third video of this style that I've done. I have done the same video for top 10 men's jeans brands and the top 10 women's jeans brands. So if you wanna see more videos of this style, I will have both of those videos linked on the screen at the end of this video. And I'll also have links to them into the description. So if you want to see, again, more top 10 videos, check out those after you finish this video. But for now, let's get into the top five men's cowboy boot brands. Number five on the list is Dan Post. 69 of the 1,000 listings were from the brand Dan Post. It came out number five on the Poshmark $50 to $100 list, number five on the Poshmark $101 to $250 list, number four on the eBay $50 to $100 list, and number four on the eBay 101 to $250 list. Average sale price for Dan Post is $55, so it's on the lower end, and the average sell-through rate is 62%. So again, on the lower end of the 10 brands. I have sold Dan Post boots once. I bought them in my hometown. <laughs> like, no surprise, I feel like that's where I always found cowboy boots is when I go garage selling around where I grew up. But anyways, I bought them. I think I might've even paid $20 for them, but they were in perfect condition. It did look like she had not even worn them. And they sold for $75 in just a couple weeks after I listed them. So again, number five is Dan Post. Number four on the list is one, probably if you sell cowboy boots, you know this brand and you're expecting it to come on the list. And that brand is Justin. So Justin accounted for 102 of the 1,000 listings or about 10%. It came out number two on the Poshmark 50 to $100 list, number six on the Poshmark 101 to $250 list, number three on the eBay 50 to $100 list, and number three on the eBay 101 to $250 list. Justin is a brand I have seen often and I do not always pick it up because again of condition. Often when I find Justin boots, they are super destroyed and, or they might be super, super muddy. So if they're super muddy, then I have to make a judgment of how good of condition is the rest of the boot. If I were to clean up the mud, would they still sell well? So anyways, the average sale price is the lowest of the 10 on the list at $51. That's still above $50 average sale price though. And the sell through rate is 71%. So again, check the condition, check the style, if they're in great condition, if they're great style, you definitely have some money on your hands. But if they're in destroyed condition, obviously, maybe you don't pick them up. Next brand on the list is another one that I often find. So number four and number three are the two brands that I have most often seen. So number four was Justin. Number three, if you watch my channel, you're expecting me to say this brand. You're probably thinking in your head right now, <laughs> that brand is Ariat. Ariat came out number three with 124 of the 1,000 sold listings or 12%. I love picking up Ariat boots that I find in great condition. They sell quickly for me. 
for between like 40 and 60 dollars they came out number one on the Poshmark 50 to $100 list. They came out number three on the Poshmark 101 to $250 list, number two on the eBay 50 to $100 list, and number five on the eBay 101 to $250 list. The average sale price is $60, and the sell-through rate is 121%. So over 100% sell-through rate, a $60 average sale price. And I want to say thank you to Samantha Hoke. I did a video just like this for men's jeans and Ariet came out the list and I was talking about how I always forget how to say it. And she gave the great tip that the name Ariet came from the word secretariat. So if you remember the word secretariat, then you can remember how to pronounce Ariet. Number two is Tony Lama and it accounted for 128 of the 1000 listings that I pulled or 13%. It came out number three on the Poshmark 50 to $100 list, number four on the Poshmark 101 to $250 list, number one on the eBay 50 to $100 list, and number two on the eBay 101 to $250 list. So three of the brands on this list, Tony Lama, Justin, and Nakona, are all associated together. Justin actually owns both Nakona and Tony Lama. And I figured this out when I was on their websites looking up information, trying to understand the brand a little better. And I noticed that a couple of their websites looked nearly identical. <laughs> and that's when I found out that Justin owns Tony Lama and Nakona. The average sale price for Tony Lama cowboy boots is $62 and the sell through rate is 70%. All right, last brand on the list. We still have the number one spot open on the Poshmark 101 to $250 and the eBay 101 to $250 and that is this brand. Can you guys, are you, do you know what it is? Are you guessing in your heads what this brand is? The brand is Lucchese. I have never found this brand. I know to keep an eye out for it and this list and this data made me even more confident that I need to look for this brand. So it accounted for 153 of the 1,000 listings or 15% of the listings I looked at were Lucchese boots. It came out number four on the Poshmark 50 to $100 list and number one on both the Poshmark and eBay 101 to $250 list. Again, it has really good stats. The average sale price for Lucchese cowboy boots is $152 and the sell through rate is 118%. When I went to the Lucchese website, it looks like the cowboy boots sell on average brand new for about $750, which explains why they have such a high average sale price in the resale market and the pre-owned market. As I mentioned before, I do have two more top 10 brands list, one for men's jeans, one for women's jeans. Go check those out now to learn more brands to keep an eye out for. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned because as always, there'll be a new video out soon.